Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music and this is my introduction to the brand new Yamaha Mod X range of keyboards. Um, there are three keyboards in the range. There's the Mod X8, which I'm sitting in front of here. This has an 88 note weighted keyboard, um, so it's a, a piano-like feel. Um, there are two other models in the range. We have the Mod X7, which is this one here. This is 76 keys. That's a keyboard length I actually quite like myself, 76 keys. It goes from uh, E to G. Uh, in terms of the key range um, and it's a good size for gigging with and as you could see how lightweight it is and actually even this 88 note one look at this look how light that is to pick up so if you need a weighted keyboard for playing on stage or um, you know gigging with Mod X8 is ideal. Now this is also one of my favourite keyboards in the Mod X range it's their 5 octave one so it's 61 keys but really compact um, but all three models share the same sounds and the same architecture um, and the same controls and everything about them is all the same except the keyboard lengths. So if you're looking for a top keyboard, if you've got a perhaps a weighted keyboard on the bottom that you gig with and you need a synth on top, Mod X6 is, is the perfect instrument for that. Now I'm sure that if you've already got a keyboard of, in this kind of range that's maybe a few years old now, you're probably going to want to upgrade to the Mod X because it just sounds so much different and so much better than, than previous models in this price range. Now Bonners offer a really great part exchange scheme, so um, if you're looking to buy a Mod X then uh, please do give us a call or send us an email, you'll find the links in the description below this movie um, and we will get straight back to you with a, a valuation on your keyboard. We can even collect it from you so you don't even need to leave your home, we can send you a brand new Mod X, pick up your old keyboard at the same time and you just pay the difference. It's a really simple way of doing it. It saves you having to try and sell things privately, saves you trying to ship your keyboard somewhere. Um, it's, it's hassle free and it means that you can have a Mod X much, much quicker than you otherwise expected. Of course, internet retailing is great because you can have products nice and quick, but sometimes you want to come and see the product as well. Now you can do that at Bonner's stores. We've got two uh, keyboard stores. One is in Rygate in Surrey, just off of eight, Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and the other one is in Eastbourne in East Sussex on the south coast. Um, just give us a call to make sure that the keyboard you want to see is in the store that's closest to you. Um, but please do come along to our stores where you'll see a great range of keyboards and digital pianos. So let's just talk a little bit about what Mod X is. It's actually based on Yamaha's groundbreaking montage range of synthesizers. That's their flagship range of keyboards. And it features AWM2 uh, sample synthesis engine plus pure FMX for creating uh, sort of modern, unique sounds and something to give you a bit of inspiration. So Mod X is really good at uh, traditional keyboard sounds, so actually your piano, strings, uh, even drum voices, brass, um, all those kinds of normal sounds that you expect to hear from a keyboard. Plus it can create nice big evolving pads um, and synth lead sounds and some really good modern uh, EDM type sounds as well. So Mod X is a really great all round instrument. I think the Mod X is a game changer for this price range of keyboard because you're actually getting um, so many of the specifications that you'll find in the montage for you know, half the price. Um, it's got um, 128 note polyphony for the uh, sample synthesis engine and 64 note polyphony for the S FMX. Um, the only difference there is that Montage has 128 note polyphony for the FMX sounds as well. So um, a little bit cut down there, but you hardly notice it to be honest with you. There are only two stereo outputs as opposed to an extra set of analog outs. Um, the keyboard case itself is made of plastic, not metal. Um, so the good reason for that is it actually makes it really lightweight as I've already shown you. Um, but yes, of course, they've had to cut down somewhere. So yes, the build quality is a little bit more plasticky than montage. But if you want montage sound, if you've always wanted the sound of montage um, but didn't feel you wanted to spend quite that much money, then Mod X is ideal for you. So let's just take a look at some of the sounds that are inside the Mod X. Um, every preset that you'll find in here is actually um, a layer or a combination of up to eight different individual sounds that can either be layered across the keyboard or split or have an arpeggio assigned to them. And once you've got that layer of sound, you can then manipulate it with what Yamaha call motion control. And I'll come to that in a little bit.
Okay, so let's just take a look at motion control synthesis in a little bit more detail. Basically what motion control synthesis allows you to do is to uh, change multiple parameters that are assigned to a sound um, all at the same time, um, all just using this one controller here, which Yamaha call the super knob. Um, this can change, um, like I say, multiple layers of controllers at the same time, so filter cutoff, resonance, effects, depths, but also um, something called motion uh, sequencing. Um, and what motion sequences are, are um, if you think of a sequence of controller changes, so maybe you've got a cutoff that's going up and down, up and down, up and down all the time, or um, an effect level that's changing constantly, then um, you can uh, create a little uh, sequence or a recording of that controller change, and then that is then controlled by the super knob. Now, it all sounds really complicated, but in practice, it's actually uh, quite easy to use the preset sounds that have got this all set up already, and you can use those as a template for your own voices. Now before I show you this in any more detail, I'm just going to reach down to the floor here because what you can do, and I would, if you do buy a Mod X, what I would suggest you do is you also buy one of these Yamaha FC7 expression controllers because this can control the super knob without you having to take your hands off the keyboard. So that's what I'm going to do here. So if I'm playing, uh, let's just play a chord or, or a sound on this, uh, there we go. Now using my foot, I'm controlling the super knob here. Or, of course, you could do it by hand, but it's much easier when you're playing both hands to use your foot. So to use your foot to control the super knob. But as you can see, that super knob isn't just changing the filter cutoff, it's changing all sorts of parameters at the same time. So just take a listen to what you can do using the controllers that are on a panel here. We've got four sliders, um, four uh, rotary encoder knobs. We've got the super knob, four buttons which can control up to eight different scenes of the um, of your motion sequences. Um, and you've got a couple of assignable buttons over here. So. As you can hear, it's got side chaining as well. That's where um, the filter cutoff is open and closed uh, in synchronization with perhaps a, a bass drum or, or a, a pulse. So as you hear here. Now what I haven't said already is that what I like about the Mod X, which actually isn't on the montage, is there's a dedicated rhythm pattern button. So for any preset sound you choose, um, or any, sorry, preset sound or performance that you choose, press rhythm pattern and you can just choose a rhythm pattern on screen to go with the sound you've chosen. So it's all about creativity. So Mod X is made for songwriters, it's also made for live performers on stage um, and, uh, and film music producers. I mean, you can get some really good creative sounds out of this. So Mod X has been uh, introduced to replace the old Mox F range of Yamaha keyboards. Uh, they were great value keyboards and they were very similar to the Motif XF range, uh, which were their bigger brothers. Um, now, like the previous range, the Mod X uh, does have a built-in multi-channel audio interface and what that means is you can connect one USB cable direct to your computer and if you look at the Mod X8 there's a nice space here on the end of it here to stick your laptop or something that's really, really good. So you connect via USB to your computer and it gives you um, a two input and ten output um, audio interface and that enables you to record anything you're playing. It records all eight parts on individual tracks into your DAW, as Digital Audio Workstation software. Um, plus there's a stereo audio input on this as well so you can actually um, record anything that's coming into the Mod X from an external source via the audio interface into your laptop. So this can sort of be the heart of your studio. 
So that brings me to the end of my quick review of the uh, Yamaha Mod X range. Uh, please do come to one of our stores to see them. Give us a call first to make sure that the model you want to see is in the store that's closest to you. Um, otherwise, we're quite happy to talk about keyboards over the phone, so please do give us a call. And like I said earlier, you can part exchange your existing instrument if you want to upgrade to a Mod X. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching again. And please do take a look at my other keyboard demonstrations on YouTube. And um, let me know if there's anything you want to know about keyboards. Thanks very much for watching.